Boom. Hey, everybody, what's good? It's your girl, Evil Gonna Barbie. You know what it is, and you know what I do. Wow. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to. <laughs> That's my favorite Timberland line. I love that. From Aaliyah's Pick Yourself Up Again. Uh, I am in some sort of transition. I'm not in a funk. <coughs> I'm not sad. I'm not happy. I'm just sort of content. As you can see, I've been taking this medication. And I've been using a face cream every day for my malaise, my hyperpigmentation. And uh, I, I think it's getting a little bit lighter, I do dare say. And uh, if you're wondering what I'm wearing right now, these are some leather headbands that I am making. I talked to you about this maybe like a couple of months ago. And I took an old coach bag. I had a beautiful coach uh, briefcase that I used in university. And I cut up the leather and I'm using the leather to make, to make these headbands. But before I forget, please do your girl a favor. Go to my YouTube channel, Evo Ghetto Barbie on YouTube. When you go to my channel, hit that beautiful icon button that has the gorgeous brunette version of me and hit the subscribe button. I am still on my subscriber follower drive for YouTube. I need a thousand subscribers. And I know that you can help me. I know that you want to help me because I'm your girl, Evil Ghetto Barbie. So please, I'm doing this drive and uh, I would love to have you come and subscribe. I'm going to be taking some time from doing my radio show. I didn't do my show today. Just feeling some kind of way. You know, I just, my I woke up last night and my left palm was itching which normally means that money's going to be going out. But, you know, I always say I accept. I accept when I get that itchy left palm because I know as soon as that left palm stops itching, this right palm is going to itch even more. Itch? Be, <laughs> itch? <laughs> I think this is kicking in. I think it's kicking in. It's my first time today. I'm just sitting outside getting some sun. Lucas basking in the sun. Son, Dada is at work. I've just been chilled. I just came outside to uh, start this book. The Vanishing Half by Brent Bennett. And it's a story, basically, I'm just getting into it, the first chapter. It's a story about passing. You know, if you are uh, of mixed race or if you were born light-skinned, much more light-skinned than I am, maybe a, uh, a Tracy Webb sort of light-skinned, you can tend to pass for other cultures or other races other than black. So with my son being a mixed race uh, and me always accusing him, you know, in the, in the most teasing kinds of ways, I always accuse Connor's half-white ass of passing. Right? He can't pass for white, but he can pass for Mexican. He can pass for European. He can pass for anything other than black, right? My son's very, very fair with beautiful, uh, beautiful curly hair. And he's a beautiful, very handsome boy. I'm missing him already. So I, I just feel like I'm in some sort of, I don't want, <coughs> excuse me, I don't want to say a funk. But I, I feel like I'm not where I thought I was going to be geographically. My plan, if you want to make God laugh, tell me your plans, was to go morale picking. I wanted to go morale picking at the first of June, which is what I have done for the last, well, I've been with Dada going on five years now. So for the last five years, uh, I've been going mushroom picking one way or another. And this summer, I would have left in June to go uh, picking up near 100 Mile House. But as you can see, still here in Powell River, right? The park is really quiet because we've had all this construction going on. Um, and then the Rainbow Gathering, our 50th annual Rainbow Gathering is here. And that's in Colorado. So I want to go home to Colorado to see my family. I've not been to a Rainbow Gathering and eight years, eight years, 10 years, right before I came to, to Powell River. So I 
feel as if my spirit wants to be free of the confines of Powell River. Um, because I see the same people, I go to the same places, I do the same things every single day, Jesus. I am just as guilty as everyone else in this town um, of doing the same thing day in and day out because there really ain't shit else for you to do. <laughs> so right now I'm making these beautiful headbands. This one's going to be mine. This is my first prototype. And then I will be hanging some beautiful um, pieces that hang down from here. Sort of this whole like uh, Serbian, African, tribal goddess headband thing that I'm working on. So this one's going to be mine. I'm just playing around with it, um, seeing how it's going to all work out. Like I said, I'm going to have some pieces that hang down from here. I think maybe I'll make them a little bit thinner. I don't know, but this one I'm kind of feeling. Let me know what you think. Do you like mine? Do you like my African goddess style that I'm working on? My Malaysia's getting better. Life is getting good. I think it might be time for me to go and have a drink. Maybe that's that's the issue too. I ain't been drinking. I've been feeling like I'm just fat. You know, I just got this whole fat girl fupa thing going on that I'm not really very happy about. I feel like I'm ovulating. <laughs> like I got some PMS stuff going on. I'm as horny as a horny toad. All I want to do is this. All I want to get is this. Right? And if I ain't getting it, I can't be bothered. And that I got to go. So I'm in some kind of mood. Some sort of goddess mood. If you if you know what I'm talking about, sisters, if you feeling what I'm feeling right now, hit me up. But when you do, come to my YouTube channel. Maybe I'll put this on my YouTube channel now today. Just to put on a new video for you guys. And I'll do the follow-up. So, it's your girl, Evita Barbie. Come by. Come hit a sister up. I'm just sitting in the sun, having some drinks, smoking some butts, watching Zoe's fat butt. Look at her. Look at Zoe. She's like a stuffed sausage on four legs. That's Zoe. All she do is sit around and eat. I wonder where she gets that from. Peace and blessings, y'all. I think it's time to do a shot.